Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for November 9th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, AstraZeneca's third quarter product sales fell 3% to $4.9 billion versus an 11% drop in the first half of the year. The company noted that the pace of decline slowed due to the receding effects of the Crestar and Seroquel XR losses of exclusivity in the U.S. CEO Pascal Soriot said, Our financial performance was in line with expectations, including strong growth in emerging markets with standout sales in China. Revenue in emerging markets climbed 9% to $1.5 billion, while sales in China jumped 12% to $723 million. In other news, Sanofi entered a deal potentially worth more than $800 million to develop Principia Biopharma's experimental oral treatment, PRN2246, for multiple sclerosis. Under the agreement for the BTK inhibitor, Sanofi will pay Principia $40 million up front, with the latter eligible to receive milestone payments of up to $765 million, as well as royalties. In addition, Merck KGAA's third quarter sales in its healthcare unit rose 1.2% to 1.7 billion euros, as organic growth of 5.8% was partly offset by negative currency exchange effects. Sales of Rebif reached 389 million euros, falling 6.9% on an organic basis, while revenue from Herbitex dropped 1.6% to 207 million euros. And finally, two phase 3 studies of Sage Therapeutics intravenous formulation of brexanolone in patients with moderate or severe postpartum depression met their main goals. The company indicated that it plans to seek FDA approval of the drug, formerly known as Sage 547, next year. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 